The first app we are looking at in this video is called Procrast Ains, as in don't procrastinate. It is a daily planner application with a unique feature only a few similar applications have. So you just type your schedule or to-do in raw sentences and they are plans the task for you. So for example, if you enter workout every day at 4 p.m., the app will go ahead and schedule that recurring task every day. Maybe you enter video call with some group on Friday at 1 p.m., the app will plan that. Plus, you can also do manual adjustments to what the application already did. And one favorite of mine is setting intervals on recurring tasks. So instead of every day, you can make it every two days or every five days, whatever. And in the next tab, you can see all upcoming tasks. Plus, you also get notified. It integrates with Google Calendar as well. It has a pretty cool design, great functionality, and it's open source. At app number two is called Playery. And this is an online music player application with other features packed into it aside music streaming. You get access to thousands of tracks. You also find your favorite podcasts and even listen to audiobooks. And it's totally free with no ads, no skip limits, basically no restrictions. You can browse by genre or mood, dive into curated playlists, and when something hits right, like you like a favorite song or audiobook or podcast, you can add it to your library instantly. And it's all well organized. It also gives you the chance to block some content if you don't want them to be suggested or show up in search results. And it's even got this feature where you can publish your own music, add audiobooks if you are a creator, plus with features like a sleep timer, downloading tracks for offline listening, and cross-device support. And the app is so modern and user-friendly. Still on the subject of music, this next app called Redo Me is a real lifesaver. Let's say your favorite streaming application is Spotify and you want to share a music with a friend who does not use Spotify, maybe uses YouTube or YouTube Music, SoundCloud or whatever. This app can convert music being shared from one streaming platform and make it possible to be opened in another. And this will take away manual searching. All you have to do is share the music to redo me application from the share sheet and right there you choose the other platform you want the music to be opened in and then redo me makes the conversion you can then go ahead and share it with your friend so music shared from spotify can be opened in youtube music amazon music apple music soundcloud and more and that's basically how this application works and it supports several music platforms you also get full control over the share sheets change the icon shapes pick which applications to appear Set up the layout exactly how you want, whether vertical or horizontal, grid size and more. The next app is called Digitally and it has this hybrid functionality of being both a counter and a habit tracker. You can simply track things like daily water intake or workout sessions with counters that reset automatically daily or weekly. The design is clean and intuitive and the history calendar view is a real standout. Seeing your consistency at a glance adds up to the app being a habit tracker as well as a counter. And for the fun part, when you hit a goal, the app throws a mini celebration with some cheerful confetti. It's a small touch but it makes the experience more satisfying. The app looks cool and performance is smooth and responsive. Next, His Today is a perfect application for people who love history or just people with curious minds. It drops a fresh batch of historical events that happen today, covering everything from ancient empires and revolutionary movements, milestones and world-changing inventions. It's a smooth, beautifully laid out timeline that makes discovering history feel like browsing some kind of feat. Plus, you get to learn. You can filter events by tags, categories, or time periods. So whether you are into medieval battles or 20th century tech, you will get content that actually interests you. There is an optional daily notification to keep you in the loop, and every event comes with images and source links so you can explore deeper without leaving the application. And aside automatically dropping history of the current day, you can search manually for a date using the calendar, you can make favorites, and with both light and dark mode built into it, a clean modern design, reading is satisfying, it's a very nice application. And then we have Font Gallery, which is one of those tools that instantly makes choosing the right font way less frustrating if you are a designer. Whether you are working on a project, presentation, or just love customizing your device, this app gives you a clean, organized space to explore Google Fonts. You can browse through font families and see how they look in different weights, styles, and sizes, all while switching between light and dark mode to see how they hold up in different settings. So it's actually a full visual experience. And there is a smart search feature to help you jump straight to a specific font. And even better, 
you can change the preview text to anything you want so you get to see how your own content will look it also shows font author information which is a great detail for anyone who appreciates the people behind the design binary sweeper is a lightweight and efficient application designed to help users clean up their storage by finding and removing duplicate files it supports a wide range of file types images videos documents audio and more so with a quick scan it identifies redundant files and lets you delete them instantly freeing up valuable space without any unnecessary steps and the app features a super minimal interface with no ads no sign up process and no cloud syncing you know everything runs locally on your device which means your data stays private it is built purely for function no extra tools it is just fast and smooth you just tap on scan whether audio or document photos or video or even full scan and it runs the scan and shows you all the duplicate files and even the original tool and the file location and then you hit delete to create some space the next app is called inware now this is a detailed spec viewer that gives you a complete breakdown of what's actually inside your android device not quite a new application but offers one of the cleanest interfaces you'll find in a utility application thanks to google's latest material design everything is organized modern looking and easy to read with no ads or pop-ups getting in the way all the data is pulled directly from your device so what you see is accurate and relevant the app covers everything Thing from your Android version and treble support to display specs like resolution, screen size, and refresh rates. It dives deep into hardware to, you know, CPU, RAM, GPU, and also includes Wi Fi and Bluetooth information. Full camera specs, including OIS and EIS support and comprehensive battery data like temperature, voltage, and capacity. And on top of that, you get DRM details showing exactly what streaming service your device supports. And so for power users, you can have this application to help you learn more about your device. Next is an application called Pixabay for Android, which is a clean and efficient application that gives you direct access to a massive library of high-quality stock images. And it does this through the official Pixabay API. The app is lightweight and responsive from the start with no intrusive ads or unnecessary setups. You can search for for images using basic keywords and if you need something more specific you get built-in features that let you sort by category or even by color image previews are smooth and interactive supporting pinch to zoom for a closer look the app also uses smart caching and loading to keep performance quick and reliable swipe to refresh lets you update results easily while browsing and the interface is fully responsive scaling perfectly whether you are on a tablet or a phone and it avoids the usual pitfalls of clunky wrappers or slow design with simple downloads clean navigation and no signups required, you easily get some high quality wallpapers for your project, plus it is also open source. I'm pretty sure you've heard of Kiro Mate and Kiro Shuffle. If you have, then Linkzari is an application created by the same developer. This is completely free and ad-free. It is a sleek, refreshing and easy to use link management application, talk of modern app designs, this one makes the cut stripping away all the extra features most applications try to force in simply saving and organizing links you can quickly save anything from any application using the share function or copy and paste when you hit the plus button at the top you can source links by name date or pinned and of course it supports categories with color codes you can pin links to the top add tags when you tap to edit links you can edit link titles and also add notes and it comes with search plus i love the fact that there is no account required but it supports importing and exporting of data so all your bookmarks are stored locally on your device there is also one click to clear your data from the application and it comes in light and dark modes as well if you've got a lot of subscriptions running and could use an application to help you keep track check out Sublin. It is very clean and efficient. First off, it does not require account creation. It just gives you full visibility over your recurring expenses without adding complexity. You can add any type of subscription, whether streaming services, apps, memberships or software. You just enter the name, add cost, renewal date and other information. The app's interface is built for simplicity, making it easy to manage everything from the start. You can organize subscriptions into custom categories, assign color themes, including colorblind, friendly options for better accessibility. Plus, it supports local backup and restore of subscriptions. If you love using counter applications and appreciate a clean modding design, check out Counters. It is a simple yet powerful application that lets you create basic counters to track anything from habits to workouts and daily routines. You can set up as many counters as you need, each with the option to reset automatically on a daily, weekly or monthly basis. That means you don't have to manually reset them every time. You can also track tasks which you can mark as done and it will automatically reset to not done every day. Adding new stuff to track comes with color coding. The app is designed to be distraction free 
offering a clean interface that focuses purely on helping you track progress with full support for Material U. Moving on, we have a weather application called Overdraw. It's a pretty standout weather application that blends functionality and design in a way most weather applications don't. It transforms a basic daily task into a visually rich experience, starting with over 70 beautifully crafted widgets that actually feels like part of your setup. The app includes 12 unique animated themes that react to real-time conditions, and the UI is fully customizable too. But beneath the polished visuals is a serious weather engine. The app offers hourly and seven-day forecasts, live radar, storm tracking, and full atmospheric data including wind, pressure, humidity, and dew points. It pulls from reliable sources like Open Weather Map, Weatherbit, and Forecast for high accuracy, plus a bunch more weather information. Just to mention, Overdrop has been around for a while, but the UI of years ago isn't the same today, so it definitely deserves a mention. Next, Taskfolio is a focused, simple and straightforward task manager that gets the basics right without piling on unnecessary features. So you add tasks like categories, and then you add your tasks under them with your schedules attached. The interface feels native and smooth and well thought out from the start. It works offline, meaning you can manage your task anytime, regardless of your connection and everything syncs automatically once you are back online. Speaking of which, it syncs directly with Google Tasks, so all your existing to-dos and lists integrates without extra steps or third-party accounts. The app itself is also a showcase of Android development done right. You will actually think it's a Google application at first glance. It is super lightweight, efficient, and open source, and so if you love Google Tasks, here is an open source alternative you can try out. And then we have an application called Echo which is a motivation app that brings codes based on your settings. So instead of sending generic codes from random sources, it lets you pick your motivators. It can be philosophers, athletes, artists, world leaders, and it builds your daily codes around their voice and mindset. So whether you are into resilience, discipline, or creativity, the app aligns with what inspires you the most. Each code feels intentionally selected, forming what the application calls your motivation channel. The interface stays clean and focused with no ads or distractions, just a simple, elegant way to start your day on the right note. Plus, you can allow notifications. Consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoyed learning about these amazing Android applications. Leave a comment and let me know which one of them you are going to try out. Also, leave a like on the video and as always, thank you for watching.